we now request Shripa sir to give the token of gratitude to Kore sir and our uh, guest speaker. Thank you, Shripat, sir. Allow me to introduce C.A. Ravindra S. Kore, sir, the session chairman for this motivational session. He is the director of the Federation of Karnataka Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FKCCI. In the year 2020 to 21, he served as the chairman of Bengaluru branch of SIRC of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India in which year the Bengaluru branch backed the first best branch in all India level for the year 2020 to 2021. He also served as the president of Karnataka State Chartered Accountants Association for the year 2024 to 2015 and was instrumental to conduct the first ever women CA conference in the history of the association. May we now call on stage CA Ravindra S. Kore, sir, to deliver his opening remarks. A respected uh, or Central Council member Kota Srinivas, and all the Bangalore Bench Managing Committee members, Vice Chairman Pramod, Secretary Manjunath Alur, your big branch treasurer Kavita, and our immediate past chairman Srinivas, and CP Jain and Sripad, and the last session speaker Sudarshan, and what can call you as? Because the, all the two days this Dhoni is conducted for the student conference, but this last session is not a student session. It is like Coco from student to become member. Then only you can call it as chartered accountants for the 60 minutes. Correct? If it is correct, then clap yourself. You are a chartered accountants. This session is going to be handled by Sudarshan. The you know. Practicing Chartered Accountants and the Chartered Accountants members in industry. Now the trend become members, entrepreneur, entrepreneur members. Because yesterday you were, uh, this two days conference is inaugurated by Ullas Kamat. He is not a practicing nor uh, service. He is an entrepreneur. But today Sudarshan is giving you insight for the how to create an entrepreneur. As everyone is saying, when you are going to become five trillion economy. Correct. Today we are in four lakh chartered accountants. I hope another two years our economy will become rich. Now nearby four trillion. Definitely it will reach five lakh and five trillion. And in meantime also our chartered accountants also will reach 5 lakh membership. In that 5 lakh, we all thousand should be there, my wish. You all thousand should be in that hall. Because just seven years back, I was heading this Sikasa. I told only one my request, all the students, delegates. In another four, five years, in 2020, I become chairman. Before that, you should qualify as a member you should attend the conference as members. Now also I am wishing, I wish you should not repeat to attend the student conference. This should be your last student conference. So earlier days, you all, I know cricket lovers, definitely, how one advertisement is used to coming in a World Cup, how Sunil Gavaskar was batting, that is, was test player. Then one day came, and now, 2020 is famous. So earlier, there was information lack, the chartered accountants, information is very, very less. So very few people are used to do, because all of negativity, 
for entering for taking registration itself very very difficult so then that criteria around 80 to 90 it was completed then one day start the members used to take 4 to 5 years now it is 20 20 jamana it's your jamana 3 years you can complete the ca and you become chartered accountants you can grab n number of opportunities are waiting as a career once you pass a chartered accountancy because orientation will come i know before taking your membership orientation our central council member is here but what is the opportunity is mainly the the previous session also selling about business startup how we can create the entrepreneurs their venture capital and startups definitely that going to be inside given by all startups and venture capitals darshna will be given by our sudarshan so my point is here you have a responsibility i am treating you as for this session as a chartered accountants you can choose how to create the entrepreneur because any it's all supply chain if i am wake up where did it start if you have your mind has to be think on business if i wake up the first person will be now in staying apartment if you are staying in home housekeeper you will meet and security you will meet i am a chartered accountant what business idea i can give to create entrepreneur someone is even housekeeping or security agency people if you create your idea so you are creating entrepreneur once you entrepreneur creates definitely our economy will improve then more chartered accountants will involving in that part now it is service members in earlier members in practice was more now the trend members in service and few now jumping to the members in entrepreneur now your role is in as a career i hope definitely you will become chartered accountants when india reaching the 5 trillion uh, economy i wish only one one more thing you know how the lawyers income everybody says the more disputes will come lawyer income will get increase doctors income how increase the more patients on the only members chartered accounts wish always you have to be more prosperous the prosperous research is only chartered accounts because people are prospering definitely we are on the part of that your career will be a very excellent career you have definitely because the earlier days what i given example sunil gavaskar to virendra shehwag test to one day and 2020 definitely it will go, come next 10 10 like that you will excel so uh, definitely I, i once again congratulation to the your sikasa chairman and ca virupaksha patupad and your student leader sahana they have done wonderful job once again congratulate both of them and thank you thank you so much sir it's now time to introduce our esteemed chief guest ca sudarshan c sir with over a decade of demonstrated work experience across consumer tech and e-commerce domains working closely with the founders and leaders of young businesses in india to help establish brands through strategic business and financial planning he has been an integral part of successful indian startups and their incredible journey to become unicorns his key work spheres include strategic and financial business planning okr management strategic financial management new business slash city lodges gtm program management fundraising process development management and investment reporting we welcome you sir please put your hands together to ca sudarshan sir we request you to take over the session thank you i have been told we are close to 1200 today i hope uh, that's true i see a lot of empty chairs okay why don't we start we start with the question right i like to uh, you know get to know my audience so let let's start with the question right 
trick question. And uh, I also have answers, okay? So I did a survey for close to 1,000 people who have become CAs. And I'll, I, I mean, after some time, I'll show you the answers. And before that, I'll want to know what answers you have, right? And be as honest as possible, OK? Uh, anybody volunteers? I'll ask for some volunteers for the mic. No, no, no. So volunteers with the mic. Interactive oh, questions. Yeah, yeah, we'll arrange for that. No, no. I think you have one here. Yeah, anybody? anybody? Yeah? No, no. I'm here. I think. Yes. Yeah, anybody can use. So, guys, why did you decide to do CAs? Money. Can, can we have a mic for a few people? Let them, let them answer in terms of why they did it. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, I'm once again. Okay, I wanted to do CA for the two reasons. Right from my college 2017, I mean 2011, I completed my BCom. It was there in my mind, but I got married. Now I'm doing my CA. And go ahead, go ahead. The second reason is my husband, my father, everyone involves in the job business, okay. job work wages. And there is a six months, seven months, we don't get money from where we do jobs. So I want to be in the ICI directors so that I regulate and get the job wages every day basis. This is the reason I want to be a CA. When I regulate rules, the people will follow it. Great, great. OK, anybody else? We'll take two more, and then I'll give you answers of, OK. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we'll come to you next. Just one second. Sir, Go ahead. Be closer to the mic. It's audible, sir. Hello. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sir, I'm doing CA to add. Ah, I think we can hear you. You have sir, to be louder. Sir, I'm doing to add. It is a short title, sir. CA. So I need to add as a prefix to my name. Language of the soul. India. OK. Cool. Apparently, he's very Yeah, hi, everyone. This. Sorry, who's from where? Yeah, here, back. Yeah, my name is Albert. And uh, before I joined CF. Little louder. Yeah, am I audible to everyone? Yes, yes. Yeah, my name is C and a very good evening to everyone. And uh, before I joined CA, I was doing engineering at VIT Vellore as a mechatronics engineering. As a child, I was always told that I had enough potential in me to be somebody great by my parents. And pursuing that from very young age, I thought scientist or being an engineer was my goal. But then when I was doing engineering for those three months, I realized that it's not engineering, but it is CA that was what I wanted to be. So because CA is something that a person who is a CA, he's in, you know, recognized on the global scale, he's relevant every, even on the future level. A right answer is 73.16. But for our simplicity's sake, I'll explain it to you. It is 75 years. Average lifetime is 75 years, right? And the average lifetime of anybody who's pursuing CA, technically most of you in this room, would come out to be 20. OK? So during this year. After, after CA, it can be 40 or so. You never know. <laughs> right? So 55 minutes for 55 years. That's my request. Just be with me. And I hope I leave you with something super wonderful which you can take home and definitely be the best at what you're doing. Right? Let's get started. OK. Moving on. I mean, most of you who are attending this, most of you who are doing it, right, are looking for excellence. Even I was just hearing the previous people who were talking, 
they're such young people and they had so much courage to be impromptu on the stage, especially the last guy, he was very impromptu on the stage, right? And at the same time, he could bring in humor and hold the audience, right? So one of the features of how you become excellent is by understanding deep of how you can hold the audience, how you can be good, right? So in our CA journey, we'll towards, today strive towards career excellence, okay? Brilliant question. Why is having a good career important? Why do you think having a good career is important? All of you who are here are mostly striving to be a CA, which means you're trying to give your everything to become one. But why is it important to have a good career? What does career help you with? The answer is a little deep, but I would love to hear at least one or two of you in terms of why is career so important for you? Anybody? Sorry? Career is? Career is a huge part of your identity, right. Anybody else? Sorry? To lead? To live a great life. Okay. Okay, let's first understand a little bit deep in terms of what does life mean about, right? Little bit to what you said. Let's go on to the next slide. If you understand this, trust me, you, you are taken care of fulfillment to life. We are talking about four key pillars. Starting from the left, we have health, which is rated as the primary fulfillment vertical. If you're not healthy, high chances, your fulfillment to life quotient will be very low, right? Health is very basic. Second is relationships. As human beings, we are social in nature. We want gatherings, we want belongingness, right? Relationships. Third is the key one, which is personal growth and self-awareness. And believe me or not, in a recent survey, it came out that only 33% of Indians really have worked on self-awareness. What does it mean? It means about knowing what you're good at. It means about knowing what your real characteristics are. It means about knowing what your weaknesses are. And sadly, in India, it's only 33%. Right? Now, all of these three, on the end, you see career. Right? Why does career help you to life, get into life fulfillment? Career, when you pursue something, you develop skills. And when you develop skills, you use those skills to help others to add value in the society. The moment you add value in the society, right, you feel better. That's how a human DNA is built. Okay? So we'll, we'll deep dive more into this. The entire session is largely going to be uh, around personal growth and career, okay? Whether you listen to me for the entire hour or not, just listen to me for the next five minutes, for the next two slides, right? These three key things, if you know today, if you're pursuing CA, trust me, you will be able to be set for the rest of your life. Okay, let's go to the next slide. The first pillar. Previous one. The first pillar, know yourself. Okay? Know your options. As a CA, as a professional, as a degree holder, it is very important to know your options. Okay? Know future trends. Most of you would have heard that being in the right place at the right time is very important. Okay? So it is very, very important to know what's in store for you in future, which industries are going to be the biggest, and where you can play the massive role. Okay? Right? So this is, this is the diagram technically, if you look at it, right? 
I think if you just remember this, it will help you for a longer period of time. Okay? Let's deep dive into know yourself. Now, when we talk about know yourself, I will leave you today with two important things, two important concepts that will help you not only now in your journey to become a CA, but even going forward. These are very simple. These are some things that I speak about to most of the people in my paid classes. But this is something I am first time doing it for all of you. Right? Just be with me on the first two approaches, and this will help you for a longer period of time. OK? Now, people will say that knowing yourself is a lifelong process. Every day we discover something. Right? It never happens that you learn something about you today, and tomorrow it's going to be the same. It's going to be something new. Right? So the question comes, how can we know ourselves? How can we predict today? Right? So the approach that you use for this is called PDM. OK? Everybody with me till here? PDM, if you just remember these three things, you will not only be able to, I mean, ace your CA, but you'll be able to ace life. OK? P stands for phases, D stands for decades, and M stands for moments. Right? As we discussed about that the average life of people lifespan is 75 years. Right? When we break down this 75 years, we get into three phases. OK? So on the left side, you have the birth chart. On the right side is your death. And in between, you have three phases. Phase one, Let's go back. development phase. This is where we as a people develop the most. OK? Your schooling is a part of it. Your getting degree is a part of it. Even your internships are a part of it. And you know, coming from the CA fraternity, I can't like be more emphasized on the point that why is internship very important. Make sure you have the best possible opportunity of internship. Okay? First 25, first 25 years, 50% more than your time should be spent only on learning. Okay? Second 25 years, more than 50% of your time should be spent on execution, where you are doing stuff. That doesn't mean you stop learning, right? But you have to be very sure that more than 50% of your time is spent on doing things regularly, right? And then the last phase is the delegation phase. When you get old, your body gets old, your speed is not the same, right? Your technically mind is working faster than your body. So that is the phase where you get into delegation. OK? More than 50% of your time should be done getting things done from others. Now, to get things done from others, the most important thing is relationships that you saw in the second vertical. If you are not good at public speaking, if you are not good at sales, if you're not good at networking, you'll have a very hard time delegating and getting things done from others. Right? So these few things I mentioned purposefully because your CA curriculum does not cover this. But while you're doing CA, it is important to capture these. And I'll come on these on the later slides. And it's getting more and more important with the new advent that is happening. OK? Right? So know your phase was the first one, where you know exactly which portion you are. Most of you are right now in your learning phase, which is your 0 to 25 years. Right? Now, second comes plan your decades. If you break down 75 years, you are literally left this, with ch this chart. If you leave out your first 15 years, where your larger amount of planning is done by your parents, your family, your elders. Right? So you are left with technically six more decades to take care of. So always plan your decades, right? 
one, when you're 15 years old, write down, explore things of what you want to do. If you have already decided, for most of you in this room, to become a CA, it's important that post that, you again plan at the age of 25 of where you want to work with, what you want to work on, whom you want to work with. If you plan your decades right, trust me, most of the times you will be on the better side of the thing. Okay? Yeah. Moments. Now with the advent of Instagram, social media, and Tinder, and all of this happening, moments have become swipes. Right? But if you look at the real thought process of 75 years, you are living 75 moments. Okay? If you look at that, those are 75 moments. So enjoy your every year as a moment. Make sure you are doing what you plan to do. And if not, course correct and move forward. Don't repent if your one year goes bad. Okay? Which will happen in life. Ups and downs are part of it. I have seen a lot of CA students not clearing one attempt and just going berserk what to do. Doesn't matter. Okay? As long as you are in the helm of scheme of things, it will work out for you. Okay? So, this is largely that's going to help you know your phase, plan your decade, live every year as a moment. Now, the second most important thing that you can do to know yourself, right? This is what I was talking about. Only one third of the Indian population have ever done this. Sorry? You're not hearing, Kevin? Should I use the other mic? Hello? Is this fine? Okay, I, I'll, I'll use it this way. Okay? This is the portion that I was telling you, know your personality type. Only 33% of the Indians ever in their lifespan spend some time doing this. Okay? This is very easy, but this helps you to understand yourself. How you can do it? It's just two slides and I'll explain it to you. There's something called MBTI test. What is MBTI? MBTI is a personality type indicator being developed by world's two most renowned psychologists, Mrs. Myers and Mrs. Bridges. Right? It's called an MBTI test. What does this MBTI do? This gives you 16 personality types. So it has 100 questions. Very simple MCQ 100 questions. You have to be honest and answer that. The moment you answer that, it, it places you in one of the personality types and it helps you understand what is your core characteristics, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. Okay? So in know yourself part, it is very important that you understand this. Because most of the time, people don't do this and while they are in their job, suddenly after 5 years or 10 years, they think what they are doing. Because they have never understood or spent time in understanding what they really like to do, what they are good at. Okay? Yeah, I, I put two, if you guys want, you can take a snapshot. These are two websites that do this for free. At least as of today, they are doing it for free. Okay? 16personalities.com and triety.com. You can go there, 100 questions, MCQ, not take more than 10 minutes and they will send you a report. And you will be surprised to see that it is 99.9% .9 accurate. Right? So, moving on. So we spoke about three pillars. Know yourself. In know yourself, we spoke about two things. Living your life through PDM approach. Then second, we spoke about knowing your own personality type so that you are able to understand your characteristics, your strengths, your weaknesses, etc. Okay? Know your options. Now, as a CA student, largely most of you are aware what kind of options you can take up in the skill set that you are developing. Right? I have just tried to put some of the extract. We will run through it a little faster. 
but I'll tell you what kind of options are available just in case, right? Now, financial management is the most important option, if you ask me today, okay? I think with what Siddharth would have explained to you yesterday, with all the startups and the fundings that's coming, happening, and people becoming more richer and the per capita in income increasing, this is where a CA can contribute the most and get the highest return. It doesn't matter if you're doing a job, it doesn't matter if you're doing entrepreneurship in this domain, right? So you can get into investment banking, insurance, company valuations. Company valuations have gone off the roof in last three years. Every valuation certificate, technically, if you look at the young companies, they are paying almost three to five lakhs. Okay? So, and previously it was like 50,000. Okay? So, company valuations is one of the most not known, but one of the most money making propositions. Then you get into venture capital. Uh, I'll deep dive more on venture capital. I have specific uh, details around it. Banking, uh, credit analytics, stock market. I mean, most of you are on Instagram, so you know stock market nowadays before you know even CA. So <laughs> that's there. And then wealth management, right? This is the basic finance and accounts, nothing new here. Controllership, investment relations, mergers and acquisitions, costing, financial planning, treasury, okay? The most important thing where you can, again, if you are wanting to do a job, the most important thing where you can make a lot of headroom is mergers and acquisitions. It's tough to get in, but if you get into any firm that does m and or does consultancy around m and you're largely to be the highest paid person, okay? So technically, if you look at, I'll give you the numbers, if a merger happens for 100 crores, right, the commission that a firm draws is 2.5%. So you understand the amount of money that is people are driving, okay? And if you are there, obviously you will do the same, okay? This is uh, pretty plain vanilla. This is same as before, statutory audit, due diligences, tax audits, stock audits, frauds and internal audits, right? In the frauds, again, here if you ask me, I think frauds is the one that is growing the most because of the digital aspect that is coming, right? So risk assurances, if you're getting into big fours and you want to get into all of that, I think risk advisory is the place to be. It's growing leaps and bounds. And with Digital India, I think it's going to grow faster than all the other divisions. Okay. Yeah, I think taxation, I'll not spend much time. This is personal tax, corporate tax, internal tax, tax transfer pricing, GST, right? So these are largely the options that technically a CA generally has. Okay. Now, the, the important, important thing, right? The third most important vertical of you to be the best and drive the best ROI for yourself is knowing what is coming up. What is important? What is the next decade going to be about? Okay? So what is happening? I think all of this is already covered in the last two days, but I'll just quickly summarize. GDP going 10 trillion, rapid digitization, Per capita income is increasing, consumption is increasing, right? Entrepreneurship is on the rise, and all young people are looking for faster financial independence. I hope you guys understand what is financial independence. It's the brink after which you don't worry about money. Okay? So faster financial independence. These are the industries to watch out for. Okay? Venture capital, tech-based companies nowadays called startups. Then you have banking and financing and content and media companies. The highest, fastest growing is the content and media company, which nobody talks about. But if you look at yourself, every day an average Gen Z is absorbing more than one and a half hours of content. Okay? And for content, there's no degree, there's no science. It's an art form, you can learn it in three months and you can start working. Okay? Okay, cool. So, venture capital, again, one of the, as I mentioned, one of the key things here. 
and historically CAs have not been seen working in venture capitals. This is or this was probably like a golf association where entry was not there for CAs. If you look at or if you open any venture capital history, it will largely be people who are doing CFA, people who are doing MBAs. Right? But with the amount of volume of money coming in and the investments that is happening, right, the best profession who could scale up diligently is CAs. So now, if you start looking at the young CAs, a lot of them are getting into venture capital, right? We'll get into more details of, you know, how it is working. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a trick question anymore, but I asked this question to myself before coming here, who are the top richest, so most of you know about Forbes, right? Right? They publish a listing of who are the top 100, top 50 billionaires of the world, top 10 richest, top 50 richest. If you look at the list, you'll find only two people, two types of people. People who make money, people who manage money. Okay? So if you want to make money, best is to be neither. Okay? So entrepreneurs and fund managers are the massive one. Okay? Let's talk about venture capital in more detail. So what is venture capital? Venture capital is technically a business of providing financial investment to early stage high growth companies. Okay? If you think about only financial investments, there are banks who do financial investments. But banks require a lot of collateral, a lot of guarantees. So they don't invest in early stage high growing business. They invest in stable businesses where they can take collateral, they can take personal guarantees. Okay? So, venture capital is the business of providing financial investment to early stage high growth business. This is the spectrum, okay? If you, any of you guys who are interested in venture capital probably can take a snap of this. This will help you a lot. Just to give you perspective of with whom you can look at. So, currently India has more than 800 firms in venture capital. And the average fund that they manage is close to $100 million, which gives you a $80 billion corpus today. Okay? And if you look at the United States of America, this 800 is closer to 5,000. So this is going to become 2,000 very soon in the next two to three years. And this corpus is going to increase. And thus, the best time to enter this. Below, I have put some of the you know, most renowned and the famous uh, firms. Technically, we have Peak 15. Most of this is Bangalore. So being in Bangalore is a big you know, benefit if you're trying to do get into venture capital. Peak 15, Matrix, Bloom, Chirate, Axel, Bessemer, Elevation, Lightspeed. You might have not heard about these, might have heard about these. Uh, you know, these firms are here to stay in the next 10 years also. Might take a snapshot, okay? Okay, I think it kind of missed out, but yeah. I think uh, just to explain, financing can be done through three instruments. Equity, preference and debt. Very basic, but just to cover the logic. Okay, so for, for, for most of you who do not know what is venture capital and how it works, okay, this slide will give you a basic zero to one information of how a venture capital works, okay? If you look at the left side, you have your investors. Largely who are investors? People who are HNIs, right? People who are in the upper middle class, who have a higher risk appetite, they are the investors, right? They all come together and create a money pool. That money pool is technically distributed across all the high growing companies that we talked about. Now the important thing for you guys to know is the tab of general partners or fund managers. That is where VSCAs come in. Okay? I'll talk about more of what they do. Right? So fund manager is one of the most prominent options. Then we have finance and accounts for the firms itself, for venture capital firms itself. 
and then as i mentioned business valuation consultant okay so as we speak about more about fund managers let's understand what they do okay so fund manager jobs right three main things okay three key things that is required one getting investors second searching for companies where you can invest and third is once you invest monitor the performance and do course correction if required so if you are good in these three you can definitely become a fund manager now monitoring uh, company performance is something which you will learn over your course of becoming a ceo right most of your financial management or sfm or mafa whatever you call it is going to be that right searching and evaluating companies is research work so any of you who are analytical in mind can look at it and try and work around it the first one is the most important which is getting investors that will require you to have sales skills that will require you to have negotiation skills okay so nowadays more and more cas are doing mbas and are also doing courses on upwork and these sites where they can get all of this sales and negotiations learning okay so you can use that and get to this right i i think most of this is we already spoke about right i think this is what we mentioned get certification done on valuation work on your soft skills join the firm early as an investment analyst again you need to understand a venture capital firm life horizon for any money raised is 10 years okay it is 10 years so once you raise a money you technically have to manage that money for 10 years first 5 years are an investment period where you invest the money and second 5 years is for you to get the cash back from the company which could be through either liquidation mergers ipos right or companies buying back okay so for cas it is important you get in early because if you get in late it becomes very difficult to compete against the other professions okay yeah i think this is the graph we talked about summarizing know your options know yourself know your future trends right okay i think i covered what was supposed to be a little uh, technical in terms of how your career goes through right so what is this two days really come down to okay uh, do we have mics around guys okay anybody could answer what what all did you learn in the last two days key takeaways from the last two days you have been here today this is the last session then you been here yesterday yeah go ahead please prospect and growth of india so the growth of india largely the, the current period where india is growing right anything else anything else other take away between yesterday today yes go ahead please okay 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 cool so what does this two days really boil down to okay this is what you need to remember you are right now sitting in the next golden indian era this is what this boy was talking about that there was one period of time where india was known as the golden and it's coming back and it's coming faster than we think so how lucky you guys are you can only understand after 10 years when you look at your salary and compare to any other cas before right so you are right now sitting in a golden indian era 
best time to get maximum rewards for yourself so this is all i have to say okay dream big work hard have faith be great and be the best ca okay it's important to be the best ca but there is something that is beyond in case you miss sadly only 10 15% people become right so in case you miss remember this slide the most successful person of this century did not have a legit degree you talk about steve jobs of us you talk about jack ma of china you talk of dhirubhai ambani of india these three have been regarded the biggest most successful people of the last century okay so life never over right and as i always say keep learning be curious have fun education is a journey and not a destination okay don't take it as a destination it is part of where you want to get to right anything goes wrong go back to the pdm it will help you okay cool i think that's my time thank you for your time thank you sir we now request shripath sir to give a token of gratitude uh, and mementos to our session coordinator and our guest speaker ca sudarshan sir a round of applause please thank you sir yeah. we now request vinayak sheikh to deliver the vote of thanks for the session we express our the profound gratitude to the session speaker ca sudarshan and the session chairman ca ravindra s kore for a such a wonderful session on the career excellence thank you to the audience who have a extremely patience and the interactive throughout the session thank you everyone our apologies uh, we request sir to please present a memento to ca ravindra kore sir A huge round of applause for both of them. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.